This is the second story I've written, illustrated with our model. I'll talk a bit about the process in the end of the video after the story, but I'm adding some context before. The main goal here is to generate more than just landscapes and boats, such as in the Little Red Boat story. I've tried to show some of the extremities possible with generation, hopefully inciting ideas for potential capabilities when using our models for story illustration or for other applications. New Adventures What time is it? Viola asked, trying to postpone her bedtime. It's time for you to go to sleep, her father answered. We have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Viola was feeling anxious. Her mind was not at ease. Tomorrow was the day she and her family would be relocating to India for two years. She did not want to leave all her friends. What if I don't make any new friends? She kept pondering. Really, Dad, what time is it? It's now 8 o'clock in the evening, which is very late for you. Is it 8 for everyone? Viola continued, as a spark of curiosity was heard in a voice. No, her father said. The time is different in different places on our planet. How can that be? asked Viola. Do they live in the past? Her father laughed. Well, they don't live in the past. Our planet, planet Earth, orbits the sun. But it also rotates, spins, like a spinning top. It takes Earth one day to complete one spin, he continued, waving his hands, trying to imitate a spinning top. While the Earth spins, the sun appears to be in different places in the sky, which are different times of day. What time is it now in India? Viola continued, sounding even more interested and excited than before. Well, India is exactly on the other side of Earth. So, it's now 8 in the morning there. When it's night here, it's day there, and the other way around. And what do they do in India in the morning? asked Viola, trying to imagine. I don't know what everyone is doing now, but I do know that once a year they do something you love doing, her father explained. On their Independence Day, many people in New Delhi fly kites as a symbol of freedom. Viola imagined how that might look. She imagined a large kite that looks like a pterodactyl, a flying dinosaur in the sky. Viola loved dinosaurs. She enjoyed imagining and learning about them. Are there other special things to see in India? asked Viola. There is the Taj Mahal, her father answered, after a short pause. It's an impressive ivory-white marble mausoleum. That means it was built as a monument to a person. Her father noticed Viola was getting sleepy. Good night, sweetheart, he said, as he stepped out of the room. But Viola was already asleep. A loud knock on the window suddenly woke Viola up. She was startled and didn't understand who that could be. She couldn't believe her eyes. Outside her window was a brachiosaurus eating leaves from the garden tree. Viola was afraid, yet intrigued, so she stepped closer to get a better view. As she approached the window, an astonishing view unveiled. Dinosaurs were roaming Viola's neighborhood, alongside the cars, trees, and houses. Viola was rendered speechless by the incredible sight. How could this be? she mumbled. Everything is possible here, a calming voice replied reassuringly. Who is that? Who's talking? Viola was bewildered. My name is Brachy, said the Brachiosaurus. Concluding his feast of leaves, he headed towards Viola. How did you get here? Viola inquired. Climb on, let me show you around, Bracky said. You'll be back by breakfast. Viola climbed onto the large dinosaur. As if by magic, colorful, fiery wings suddenly grew from Bracky's back, sprouting like beautiful flowers. Off we go, Bracky exclaimed as they soared up to the sky. We do not know how we got here. Bracky started explaining. It was a stormy night, a ferocious lightning storm with lightning like I had never seen before. It came without warning, and many of us were not able to find shelter in time. Then it suddenly disappeared, and we found ourselves here. You don't seem very concerned or troubled, said Viola, trying to make sense of everything. We were at first, answered Bracky, but everyone here was so nice and welcoming and we have found many great things that we never had before. Let me show you. T. 
Tizra always felt different because of his stripes. But here, children appreciate his differences. He's found new friends to play with. Quirky has finally found someone who loves to run as much as she does. You see, Viola, sometimes friendships and new experiences emerge in the places you least expect to find them. We are always different from others in some ways, but similar in many others. Viola was silent. Until now, she'd mainly considered the downsides of leaving her house. She started to feel a warmth of excitement as expectations of new adventures and friendships began to surface. Thank you, Bracky, said Viola, as he lowered her down outside her house. Good luck, Viola, he replied. Make the most of your new adventures. Viola watched Bracky fly away. What a night, she thought. When Viola woke up, her family was already eating breakfast. We let you sleep in, her mother smiled. Are you ready for our adventure? I am, Viola replied, still thinking about the night before. The rest of the day passed quickly. On the flight, Viola found herself staring outside at the clouds, lost in the sea of thought. Something familiar suddenly glittered from afar, making Viola smile. The End I've used several methods here uh, to generate the images. The first was just using text to image generation, so not using any scene layout. And that was used for people generation here. Another method was just manually drawing the scenes. And of course, of course, uh, prompting text as well. Here, I just drew that by using image editing tool. It's quite nice, but proved to be hard later on. Another option was using the segmentation extracted from an image. We don't see the image here, but you can see on the left the extracted segmentation plus editing. So after extracting, I added the paradoxal kite over the segmentations I've extracted from the image. What I mainly use for most of the images is silhouettes templates I found, and then I manu manually added or edited the layout. That's it. Thank you for listening.